So if you've clicked through this video, you're probably struggling with freeing your sleeve. So today I'm gonna share with you guys my top five favorite grip breaks that I've used throughout my entire career. I'm even gonna share with you guys my favorite grip break, which led to most of my success. Let's get into the video. Let's get into grip break number one. It's gonna be super simple and very basic. My partner's gonna take a good solid judo grip here on the end of my sleeve. And all I wanna do is I wanna keep my right hand in stance. The key to any good grip break is making sure I'm using one limb to my partner, okay? I don't wanna use necessarily my whole body to change my stances and grips. I don't wanna fall off balance. So while he's taking a good solid grip, we're gonna hurt your fingers here, okay? I wanna twist the gi so that my arm and his arm are lined up one over the other. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my elbow and I'm gonna drive it to his fingers. And I'm gonna pull in like I'm curling. And then I'm gonna use my hip and my body to get my elbow up as high as I can so I can drive through it. Now I can rotate and then I can break the grip off. Sometimes, if that person takes a really good solid grip, you can actually get a good twist and you can break it on the way up, okay? If he takes a little bit looser of a grip down towards the end of the sleeve, it's not gonna come off, but it's pretty much useless right here, okay? He's only got the two fingers and the thumb kind of holding on to it, so when you pull it back, it comes off no problem. And that's gonna be grip break number one. Grip break number two is gonna use a C grip. He's gonna grab the end of my sleeve and I just can't, I just can't get that grip break off. Like I can't get my elbow up high enough because he's too good at keeping the pressure down, which is what he's supposed to be doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist my body and my hip so that I can grab the end of his wrist. And I'm gonna press it right down towards the center of the floor while elongating my back, okay? So I'm here, I snap it down to the end, and I elongate. If it doesn't come off here, come back to the end of his hand, and then do it again. It's like a ratchet system, one after the other. Okay, all I'm gonna do is go boom, ratchet it off. And now this is a good one because it gives me control of his hand so that when I'm ready, I can throw it and I can power grip my up. Grip break number three is gonna be kind of like grip break number two, but it's gonna be a reverse C grip, okay? A lot of times we use this grip, not when they take a judo grip, but when they take a cat's paw grip right on the end of that sleeve, okay? It's super common in judo, and it can be a real pain to break, okay? So when we see this grip, this is what we do. We make our C here with our hand, I loop down, and I put my thumb kind of inside his palm as close as I can, I grab his hand, and then I throw a right, boom, right to his heart, and I punch him right in the chest. So when he takes that grip, down, straight through, and you can see the distance from his hand to the end of my sleeve grip that I had to break that, okay? A key point of information on this one is your opposite side of his hand is just as important. So my left hand, when I take this grip, I can't do this. I need to tighten the knee jacket, okay? So this hand has to stay in front, and you've got to kind of round your back as you do it, when you punch it off. Now I still have that hand, I can throw it, and grab the neck. Grip break number four is a little bit more dynamic where we are stuck in a sleeve, sleeve scenario where he has my sleeve and I have his sleeve and we're right on right, okay? What I wanna do is I wanna bring his hand to his forearm. So while I'm in this position, I'm gonna step into my partner and use my body and my hip to bring his hands together. I'm gonna pull his sleeve with my left as I drive my right over the top to break that grip. I circle out as I put my other hand on the gi. You can grab the back or you can grab the collar. I prefer the back, so that's what I do. But I'm in this position, I have this sleeve, I step in, I break it, I circle out, and now I have two hands on my partner's gi. The last grip break and one of my favorites, I used it a ton in all of my competitions. Okay, I think I like it because it's probably the most physical of the bunch. My partner has my sleeve, and I have my partner's sleeve, and we're in control, and I just, I just can't get this off, and I just can't do much with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna circle to my left, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull him forward, okay? I'm gonna pull him forward, and when he does that, I bend my hand in so that his forearm is exposed. I take my sleeve grip with my knuckles, and I punch his forearm. It takes it off, and there's his head. I can come right around, and I can take that grip. So I'm here. Don't stay in a second. So I'm here. All I'm going to do is snap it, 
boom, hit it off. And there's his head. Step in, take the grip, and then look to attack and score. So there you have it. Those are my top five favorite grip breaks for both judo and BJJ. All of these grip breaks can be applied to Nawaza as well, whether you're in closed guard or half guard. But for the most part, on your feet is where you're gonna generate most of your power and find them the most effective. And if you're new here to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. We release five videos a week. We even try to go live a few times during the week just to provide extra added content for all of you.